Hey, hey, we are going live, little baby, we're going live. It's a crazy Monday. How's everybody doing on this beautiful Monday? We're doing good. We are in the middle of a workout because someone's not very happy. So, in the middle of this workout, I got to thinking, I was literally just laying around in a plank and I was like, you know what, let's go live because something popped into my mind and I wanted to share it with you guys before it popped out because that happens a lot. So, sorry that we look a hot mess, me specifically. I mean, he's a baby, he's always cute, but we're trying to work out and it has been a goal of mine to work out more with this little guy, okay? Prior to having him, I worked out four out of five days, um, and then I did a beach body workout, not a beach body, a workout on the beach on Saturdays during the summer. Um, when I got pregnant with him, I did almost a workout every single day. It was normally yoga. So I'm trying to get back into that routine, but it's a little difficult with babies. So let's put a live in the comments if you're watching this live. And if you're catching this on replay, go ahead and drop R or replay in the comments so that I can thank you guys later. Um, whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. What I wanted to talk with you guys about real quickly because my phone is actually on 20%, so it's gonna die soon. Because it seems like it goes from 20% to like five and then one, and then it's just gone. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about was the definition of goal. Because I have set a lot of goals. Um, like I said, I am working on my goal of working out with this little guy at least four days a week. Um, not necessarily including the weekends because it's a little bit easier when Henry's home, he can grab the baby and I can do a workout. But during the week, I'm trying to do four out of five days working out and I do it with this guy. So let me just show you on the TV. I've YouTubed some different workouts with babies. Some of them have been great, some of them <laughs> not so great, but it's my goal. And I just wanted to share with you guys the definition of the word goal. So I have it here. Hey, Jess Pazaya, thanks for watching, Chica. The definition of goal is the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or desired result. So my aim is to work out four out of five days a week. My ambition is to work out four out of five days of the week with this little animal right here who is 22 pounds. So it's like serious dumbbell going on right here. Um, my aim is to get healthier and to be strong so that I can continue to lift this little heifer. Oops, sorry, Henry called in the middle of this. <laughs> um, so my desired result is to become just healthier in general for him and for myself. But there's something else that I'm super proud of myself for and I wanna share it because it was, he keeps calling. So I don't know what it's doing to this video. It might just keep interrupting, but anyway. This is gonna be quick. <laughs> um, it was a huge goal of mine and I want you guys to know about it. So in the month of March, I set a goal for the business that I'm doing. And my goal was to reach out and help seven people. Just seven, that doesn't seem like a lot. But when it comes to helping out seven people and the only way to help them out is to have them purchase something, the number seven becomes gigantic. It becomes like a mountain or literally like the glacier that the Titanic hit. It is huge and it stands in the way. And on March 16th, I was so close to hitting my goal of helping seven people in this new business. I was like down to three people left. So I had already helped um, four and I only had three people left to go. And I'm telling you, I started to doubt myself and I started to have all these negative thoughts and I was like, I'm never gonna reach this goal. About the same time, I really started to hone in on my goal to work out with this guy. And since then, we've worked out every day together. Sometimes more me working out, him laying on top of me or playing, but we've done some kind of workout. And um, I'm listening to this book, so it's called The Success Principles. And part of that talks about having a positive attitude. 
So put a one in the comments if you strive to have a positive attitude, but some days you just can't do it. Like some days there are people or there are events or there's just things that happen that just mess you up and like it gets you off track. You no longer have this positive attitude and you become negative. And that's what I was doing. I was becoming negative. I was dwelling on all these things that were out of my control and all of these things that I couldn't do anything about. And I noticed it not just on the business side, but in life also. Like I would seriously get super negative about the weather. I have zero control over the weather. So it was pointless to get so worked up over it, but I would. I would complain about things that I had no hope in changing. So it wasn't really helping me reach my goals. <laughs> um, and this book really talks about the power of positivity. And I have been working really hard to stay positive. And Jess Paziah can um, testify to this because we really try to have a positive day. And we have 21 little second graders in our class that make it super hard to be positive sometimes. Um, put a two in the comments if there's one person, two people, 21 little people that are in your life that make it super hard to be positive sometimes. Like you just dwell on the negative because you feel like it's constantly one thing after the next. That was me. It still is me. It's like a battle that I face every single day. Yeah, it's a battle. So... I really started to make an effort to be more positive and to have positive thoughts and when something negative happened to try to find the positive in it. And on March 18th, yesterday, I not only met my goal of helping seven people in this business, I surpassed it. And I have the potential to not only reach those seven people, but three more people. So that's a total of seven, eight, nine, ten people. Oh. So it was just crazy that the power of positivity literally made positive changes in my life. And it was so worth setting the goal. Even though when I made the goal in the beginning of March, I was like, you're crazy. This is never going to work out. Kind of like the goal of working out with him. I was like, it's my dear husband, he wants to pick up groceries so bad, but I have the grocery list and I keep forgetting to send it to him. So he keeps calling and it's messing up my life, y'all. I'll have to tell him because this is hilarious. He's called like four times. I'm so sorry, husband. But anyway, um, so like I said, um, just the power of positivity is unreal. Hey, Hillary. Thanks for hopping on, girlfriend. Um, the power of positivity is unreal in everything that I do. I'm trying to really stay positive. Henry just texts me now. He's like, hey, what's going on? Um, with work, with this guy, with Henry, my husband Henry, um, with my in-laws, my parents, just trying to find the positive in everything because whew, the world is negative. I mean, it is a nasty place and I don't want that to affect me I don't want that to affect him, and I want him to um, grow up knowing that mom tried really hard to stay positive and to find the good in all things. And I really, truly believe that the mind is a powerful thing, and the more positive you are, the better your life will be. Whether it's just because you're looking at the better side of it, or if it's truly better, does it really matter which one? I mean, if your life is better, it's better. So. Um, I'm really trying to stay positive and to continue to reach these goals. I have another extremely large goal set to, um, to reach in this business. And I am staying positive because I don't know how many more days are left in March, but I am going to make that goal before the end of March. And... I'm like declaring it right now. So I'm staying positive and I challenge you guys to stay positive no matter what you're doing, whether you're working out, whether you are just at work and you've got really negative people in your life who are cussing a copy machine. Stay positive because it's going to change your life and it's going to change other people's lives and they're going to notice and you're going to look better and you're just going to be happier. So set goals reach for those goals. If you don't make the goals, it's okay. Try again tomorrow. Okay. All right. 
I gotta hop off and call a husband and get him to pick up some groceries because he's probably freaking out thinking something's wrong. So thank you guys for watching and remember, type replay if you are catching this on replay so I can thank you later. All right, guys, have a good night.